Hello, my friends. How is everybody? I myself am fantabulistic. I sure am. I am here with you today. I need help. I, I have an addiction. I have an addiction I need to talk to somebody about. Does anybody know how I can fire my Girl Scout? She's fired. She keeps delivering them and they keep coming and they're so good. Oh my gosh. Has anybody tried these? If you haven't, please try them and you will understand. You'll understand exactly where I'm coming from. There's not enough in this box. That's my only complaint. Oh my goodness. Yeah, try them. You'll understand. And I only have one sleeve left or, you know, there are three compartments. I only have one compartment left and I don't, I haven't seen a Girl Scout in weeks. <gasps> what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I got to get them and put them in the freezer. Because, you know, you can have them for like a year in the freezer. So, if you, if you, you know, budget wisely, you can make them last all year till next time you get them. But you have to really, really show some willpower. I don't think mine will make it a month. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> I definitely don't think I can make it. Oh, they're so good. Which, I don't need them anymore. I have got this problem that I do not know where it popped up from. I'm talking about this donut, not the one on my plate, but the one that goes around my waist. Oh my God. And I'm supposed to squeeze into a bathing suit too? <laughs> Things are just hilarious these days. Hilarious. All right. We are going to open something that I got. I peeped. I didn't peek. I didn't open it, open it. So I can just see through here. And I know where I, what I ordered from here. This, I don't know who I recall watching the other day on YouTube and they were using them. And I said, oh, I like Pixis. I want them myself. So I went to Amazon and I ordered some Pixis gemstones colors. Let's check them out. I'm drinking my Dr. Pepper for the day. And I'm feeling a little burpy. So I apologize if anything comes just spilling out. I'll try and maintain that. As you know, sometimes the soda just hits the spot. That carbonation, you feel it. And it's crispness. Ouch. Nice box again. Look at that. All right. We got Peridot. Aquamarine, my birthstone. Oh no, my birthstone is blue topaz. My bad. Amethyst, citrine, and garnet. Man, I wish I had the rest of the months or the rest of the birthstones. Yeah, so those are beautiful. What am I gonna do with them? I know one thing, I'd like to make something beautiful with them, that's for sure. Just using them, not, you know, like, um, maybe, um, hmm. I don't know, I'm going to think about it. Let's see what's in here. I'm going to have to put y'all on hold and figure something out. Got lots of things I've been wanting to do, and, you know, it's just, my brain is just not thinking. We'll hold the free gift until in a minute. Let's see, look, this is from Into Resin, and I'm an affiliate with them, so I have a coupon code for 15% off. Yeah, down in my description code, because you're probably going to want some of this. I think it's pretty, look, personal touch with a thank you sticker and everything. I like it. I get my vote. Are you ready? These are little, they're little glitters. It's not exactly what I was getting excited about. What was the deal in these? These were, there was something special about them. Other than they're beautiful. It's, uh, it's blue. It looks silver. And this is gold. I don't know what was so special. I'll have to look it up on the website. It's not, I mean, other than they're just super fine. I, maybe that's what it is. I don't know. All right, these, I remember what the deal is on these. 
It's unsinkable glitter. It does not sink. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. You're gonna want it, I know. There's some definitely fluorescent bright colors, but look. Oh, have you ever, oh look, this one's open. That's why it's so glittery. That's, I'm glad I caught it. That's like a mint green. Then we got a fluorescent pink. Then we have orange or yellow maybe. And this is a fluorescent green. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that blue. Y'all know I like blues. I'm liking these. Then we got purple. And lastly, of course, wouldn't be complete without pink. Oh, we do have a pink. We got fluorescent pink. These are gorgeous. I love them. And they don't sink. You think? You think they don't sink? Hmm. It might stink if they do sink. <laughs> I think we should do something. Look, I got these beautiful gemstones with these beautiful glitters. Man, the possibilities are endless. There's my blue. There's my purple. There's my green too. No. That goes with that one. No, I guess I'll go with that one. And then, for the garnet, I will go with, not that one, not that one, so it'll be that one. Y'all think, should I do that? Hmm. All right, I'll think about it. I'll come back to you. I mean, and this, I'm going to find out what's so special about these two. Maybe they don't sink either, I don't know. But I know you want it, so while I'm waiting, or while you're waiting on me, just go ahead, go to End Horizon, look down in the description, get your coupon code, and go use the link to go to End Resin and get you some. Get you some non-sinkable glitter. Because I'm getting ready to show y'all that it works. And you're already going to want it in the works, so it can get out into the mail, into your mailbox as quickly as possible. Hang on. Okay, friends, I have decided I'm going to do something cool. I think it's cool anyway. I am going to put, I'm going to use my Live Edge coasters. Really, really love them. I'm going to take a little bit of this Angel White. Just a wee bit is all you need. So you just stir it up. And you scrape, 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 scrape. I mean, you're like <laughs> nothing. You have a naked, it looks like there's a string hanging on that. Look at that little sucker trying to ruin my project. I don't think so. You got to get up a lot earlier than that. So see, there's like, you scraped it all. That's it. And this is about three ounces of resin, maybe four. And you just mix it up. You make it pretty white with, and that's angel white from Lorez. I don't think I just said that. You are making a pretty white, but it's a milky white, you know, milky white. You don't want it to look like um, Elmer's school blue is what it reminds me of if it's too white. Okay, now my plan is to check out these unsinkable glitters. I'm going to put a little bit of each, the purple, blue, and mint green into my clear. After I put this paste in here, I'm going to alcohol ink drop these onto the paste. And then I'm going to, in the middle, put the clear. What do you think? Sound cool? I mean, I don't know. Let's try it. Why not? Hey, it's only resin, and it's all about experimenting, and these are gorgeous colors. Ow. I got my goggles on, and y'all know I have, well, I believe, you know, I have trigeminal neuralgia, which is a horrible, horrible facial pain disease. And the goggles, sometimes they just squeeze right at the worst spot. Especially, if you know how when you're wearing something and you've been on for a while, I gotta take them off. Yeah, that doesn't normally bother me. Sorry, y'all. But my face has really been bothering me since the accident, so... 
That's the last thing I need. And I've had a headache since then, which, you know, I'm sure that would happen if you whack your head on a daggone window. Okay, so I did that. I, let's do this. I'm just going to split this up between your two molds. That looks pretty good. I was working, I was planning on, I mixed a whole lot of resin up and um, I was working on this project over here that takes like a hundred times to a little bit at a time. So I um, went ahead and started mixing up the color in it and I was like, crap, I don't know if I'm gonna need any more for this project. So I tried before mixing it, put, pour the clear resin into another cup. Yeah, it's got a hint of blue in it. So I don't think it's gonna work. So we're kind of just stuck with whatever these turn out to be. Okay, okay. Let's take some, oh, where's my new little guy? Where did he go? Uh-oh, where is he? Hold on, oh, it's over here. I love this little guy. I'm gonna go get me another little guy. He's perfect. Perfect for our mold, y'all. I mean, you could not ask for better. They are perfect. I mean, for those of us who like to push the envelope and use torches on our molds. Not everybody's bad and rebellious like us, but for those of us who are rebellious, yeah, they're cool. All right, here we go. Let's drop them. Drop them back to hot. Drop them back to hot. Okay, that little ball. I hope it doesn't get into the spigot spout. You know, because they... Let's see what this looks like. Oh, pretty. I love it. I don't exactly want it to be uniform, and I just messed that all up, didn't I? Yeah, I like them. They are very pretty, aren't they? Oh, wow. I really wish who I could remember who I saw using these. It was somebody on YouTube. Reach out to me if you know it was you and say, it was me, it was me. Because thank you. Thank you, me, whoever that is. Is I am digging these. They're beautiful. All right, that was uh, Amethyst and Aquamarine. And this is Peridot. Yeah, I would really like to have the rest of the Birthstone family. Because they are fabulous. We're miss missing Citrine and Garnet. Yep, we need an Opal. Um, I don't know that you could really do a Diamond. Maybe just put sparkles in a clear resin i mean clear alcohol ink i don't know what else blue topaz is mine emerald is my son's it could do a lot more colors couldn't they fabulous we think guys hello beautiful I think it's beautiful, but I think I'm gonna put some more on there. Cause I'm just afraid that when I pour the clear in, it's gonna kind of um, wash it away. So we'll just make it a little heavier. And then just because I wanna use them, they're beautiful. I will have these linked down in the description so you can go get your own. Use my link so it'll help me out. Help me help you. Because they are really great. And Pixis is a good alcohol ink. Those were the first alcohol inks I got, actually, when I was just doing UV resin. 
I don't know why I don't use them more often, actually. Okay, now let's go with the clear. Oh, and the clear, I'm gonna pour in a little bit of glitter. Go with the purple. Oh, I gotta take the lids off. All right, here's the purple. We're gonna see if this glitter sinks. Sinks or swims, I guess. All right, then we got the blue. Oh man, can't get the seal off and it went right down in there. Oh, it didn't make a mess. All right, then we go with some blue. Oh, it wasn't cheap, so I'm trying to use use it wisely. I mean, it wasn't. What for resin is cheap? You know what I mean? I don't care if it costs a dollar. I'm going to try not to waste it, right? All right. Okay, that's good. So let's see about this unsinkable glitter, guys. Let's see what happens. Very pretty. It's very pretty, huh? All right, y'all ready to see what happens? Here we go, yo. Oh man, there's a big glitter clump. Oh, let me hit that before it comes back in all the way. That's pretty full. I could have used a little bit more though. Gosh, I could have used a little bit more. Oh, I wish I could get that out. <laughs> let me see if I can get it with a pipe bag. Let me see. Let me try. See, look. In the middle, it's clear, and I'm pipetting it out. And it's clear. So, let me do this. I'm not going to have you watch me slowly pipette by pipette. Get it out. Hold on, let me do this one, then I'll pause you. There's a couple more of these, and I'll be good, I think. Okay. That looks pretty cool. We'll see what happens, y'all. I'll be back. Good morning, friends. I am here with our cured pieces. They look pretty on this side. I'm not thinking it did much on the other side, though. But you know what? There's only one way to find out. I am going to find the new technique that I like. Or everybody else likes, too. Just something different, you know? Alright, let's see what we got. Here's that sound. Sounds so great coming out of a mold, doesn't it? Love this live edge. All right, here we go. Abracadabra. Bam! It's glittery. It's not floating very well. Yeah, I guess some is gonna sink, but we do have glitter in the top. These are pretty, aren't they? Not bad. Granted, we want the live edge on top, but we didn't get it on top. 
All right, guys, so you know what this time means. Do I get a thumbs up? Did I do a good job? Are you gonna go give me a thumbs up, give me a like, and possibly give me another thumbs up with a subscribe? Sign up for those notifications so you know when I have a new, new video coming out to check out. It doesn't cost you a thing, but it sure helps me out a lot, guys. It's really good for my channel. And, you know, we love bringing you content, but it's also great to get rewarded because you've done a good job and people are letting you know by giving you likes and subscribes. So it's all about the algorithm. A um, little bit of business. I have three contests going on. You can like, subscribe, and comment. You send me a comment letting me know that you liked and subscribed, and I'll send you a number. When I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm going to let the number generator generate the winner for me. The prize is yet to be determined. I still got to figure out a prize for that. The last one was pretty phenomenal. I can't do that every time, but it'll be something cool. Uh, the second uh, contest I have going on is the honorary name program. You can get an honorary color on my channel. Um, you just need to make a PayPal donation of at least $5 or more to get your color because it does, you know, colors cost. And you'll tell me what color family you like and I'll find something beautiful in that color family. And right now, that'll get you in the next contest. The next contest is my corny, amazing acorn. You can get an entry in that by showing some support for the channel. There's various ways to do that. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, the first one is if you have some crafts uh, supplies laying around that you're not going to use, you haven't used, you'd like to see me use, send them on. I love hand-me-downs. Just send me an email asking for my address. That would be awesome. Another way to show some support is my Amazon wish list. It's got different varieties of price ranges for you to find something to send to show support for the channel. Third way is the affiliate links that I have provided. Just use one of those to get something fabulous for yourself and use the affiliate link and the affiliate coupon code and let me know about it so I can give you an entry because that won't I won't know about that right away before the drawing. Um, let's see. And the final way is buy me a cup of sweet tea or a gallon of sweet tea or whatever sweet tea you want to buy me. And you can do that with the PayPal donation. All of that supports the channel as well and get you an entry into the amazing acorn. The prize for that is, what is that? I don't have a prize for that yet. I already gave it away. I gave it away yesterday. So I gotta figure out a prize for that. Two different prizes. I think I might just make it mystery boxes. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Mystery box, mystery prize. How about that? So the like, subscribe, comment is a mystery box and the entry to the amazing corning acorn is an entry for that. And that'll also be a mystery box, mystery prize. So that's the deal. Just read all the details down in the description and that'll get you all the 411 that you need to know. Just take advantage of it. I'd appreciate it so, so very much. The channel appreciates it too. So with that, I'm going to say goodbye and see ya. Until next time, love you, mean it. Bye.